Hey, Max here. For the third and final part of the DOM project, I chose to study the calls of the Blackbird Sparrow. When out of Daring Birds at Pocket Park, I noticed that there were several calls that seemed to be repeated. And so I chose to investigate what the cause these calls may be. And before I share my four hypothesis, I'll pause this video and show the video that um, displays the calls that I was hearing when I was So back to address the four levels of analysis, address the first level, um, on the mechanistic level, I hypothesized that the mechanism of the sparrow's calling was due to an increase in cortisol evolution, which causes an increase in stress within the individual bird. And so I thought that the increase in stress within the individual is what warranted the call. And so upon a little further investigation, according to the ref uh, referencing article of McDougall and Shackleton of 1997, the bird song functions as an ornament for birds with no legitimate support for survival. So that means that the function of the song is purely in the form of sexual selection for the birds. And that's, this doesn't say it's true the hypothesis that I came up with, but it also shows that these songs are being displayed during times of breeding. And so most likely, if there is an increase in hormone levels, it's going to be testosterone instead of cortisol, which is related to stress. Um, so moving on to the development level analysis, I hypothesized that the sparrow's calls were a combination of innate and learned behavior. And so I thought it was innate because as birds come out as chicks, they will immediately have the um, ability to call to their parents for food and, um, and then eventually will form complex songs. And so according to the wiki in Peters 2002, the ability of a bird to produce and create complex songs is an on signal because their development is when brain structure associated with song learning occurs. So these times are inherently stressful for young chicks, they're vying to get more resources than other hatching that might be the same nest as them. And so while they are learning and calling out, um, they uh, develop these song learning structures within the brain and that focuses honestly for overall fitness. And moving on to the function level of analysis, I thought that the adaptive value of the sparrow's calls was to inform others of its fitness. And so the calls may indicate fitness based upon its territory and wild resources that may be found within the territory. And so according to Hagen Lively of 1970, the songs of the Blackbird Sparrow consist of buzzes and trills. While consisting primarily of these two components, the songs themselves are highly variable in the species, and they maintain these relatively simple components for species identification. And so while they have these two components, there are also five intricacies of the individual songs, which relates to individual recognition. And again, referencing the aforementioned article, uh, Mwiki and Peters, 2002, the more intricate and complex an individual's song is, the higher its fitness. And then moving on to the last level analysis, the evolution level. I, I hypothesized that the calls of the sparrow were novel and a product of an ancestral species. And I thought this because there are a lot of different types of birds that produce songs and calls to um, females of the same species, there's a constant space in general, and sharing a common ancestor that possess this vocal ability to produce these songs is way more logical than all of these species converging evolutionarily to produce songs for the same purpose. And so, according to Nelson Cronero of 1991, the field sparrow, which is a relative of the blackbird sparrow, uses this call in a similar fashion, that being the entice females to reproduce with them or in territorial disputes with males. Uh, so, I thought that this was an example of, um, of a relative and um, showed that they did did use similar um, calls and songs in, um, in the territories. And so then tying all this behavior to material that we learned in the course, the calls of the Blackbird Sparrow are an example of several um, topics that we're talking about. And one, first and foremost, is sexual selection, as males are vying for female favor during mating seasons. And then the second is being honest, um, being honest communication, as the songs of the bird are closely associated with brain structures of the end of the bird and can't be faked. And so overall, that is what I, um, I learned about the calls related to the Blackbird Sparrow. And um, I hope that you're able to learn some more about the calls and everything related to the, the bird. Thank you for watching my video.